Greetings of the day, dear children. Hope to find you all happy and healthy. I, Dr. Sujata Yadav, would like to extend a very warm welcome. Today, I will take you through the chapter Biotechnology and its Applications. And the topic to be covered is its application in agriculture. So, I would like to have all ears and eyes on the screen. After one subtopic, we will have a short quiz. By the end of this session, you will be able to define the term biotechnology to understand its application in different fields and to know about GMOs and their benefits, to understand the production of BT cotton and to know the strategy involved in making the pest resistant tobacco plant and the strategy used is RNAi. So dear children, in previous chapter, we studied about biotechnology and its principles. You all are familiar with the term biotechnology. So biotechnology is the application of scientific techniques to modify and improve plants, animals, and microorganisms to enhance their value. Biotechnology is applied in various fields like therapeutics, diagnostics, GM crops, food processing, bioremediation, waste treatment, energy production, and gene therapy also. There are three critical research areas of biotechnology, like the first providing the best catalyst in the form of a microbe or enzyme. And second area is creating optimal conditions through engineering. And third is downstream processing technologies to purify protein. Now there are three ways by which food production can be increased. And you children, you all know. The first way is agrochemical based agriculture. That means agrochemicals, the chemicals which are used in agriculture. But this type of agriculture is often expensive. The second way is organic agriculture which uses no chemicals, only the organic or natural substances are used, but it uses the conventional methods. So we cannot increase the food production by these two ways. And the third option is the genetically engineered crop based agriculture. So this is the only possible solution. Now the green revolution succeeded in tripling the food supply, but was not enough to feed growing human population. So possible solution arise and that is the use of genetically modified crops. They are GM crops. Now, do you know what are GMOs? GMOs are genetically modified organisms, which are plants, bacteria, fungi, and animals with altered genes by manipulation. So now you know GMOs are made superior. Can you think of various advantages of GM crops? Let me take you through them. 
Now, the first advantage, or you can say the benefit, is they have increased tolerance against abiotic stresses like heat, cold, drought, etc. The second advantage is the reduced reliance on chemical pesticides. The post harvest losses, they also get reduced. Another advantage is that the efficiency of mineral usage by the plant also increases. And even the nutritional value of plant also get increased. We get the plant product with more nutritional value. For example, golden rice. Golden rice has been produced by this method which is vitamin A enriched. Now we will study the application in agriculture to produce pest resistant plants. In this, we have two subtopics. One is to produce Bt cotton and the other is production of pest resistant tobacco. Let's discuss the first one in detail, that is production of Bt cotton. Do you know what is Bt? What does it stand for? Bt is Bacillus thuringiensis, which is a bacterium it produces insecticidal crystals protein known as cry protein, C-R-Y, cry, cry protein. Now, how the Bt works, or you can say, what is the mode of action of cry protein produced by it? Now, this Bt is first ingested, then solubilization and proteolytic activation take place, then binding to the target site, and then it forms the toxic lesions in the pest. The Bt toxin gene has been cloned and incorporated into the crop plant to make it insect resistant, functioning as a biopesticide. The Bt crops, they produce proteins to kill insects like Lepidopterans, Coleopterans or Dipterans. Now the Bt toxin protein exists as inactive protoxin. So pro means inactive. So when the pest, which is the ball worm of cotton, ingest the leaves and buds, this inactive toxin gets activated due to alkaline pH of gut of insect. The activated toxin binds to epithelial cells of midgut. Suitable pH solubilizes the protein crystals. It creates pores causing swelling, lysis, and finally, the caterpillar stage of the pest gets killed. So, this transgenic plant, or you can say the GM plant, is Bt cotton. Now you should know what is the name of the gene, how it is written. The name of the gene is CRY, C-R-Y. When we write the name of the gene, we write small c. But when the name of the protein is written, it is represented by the capital C. Now here you need to understand the gene depends upon the insect to be killed. 
for example cry 1 ac and cry 2 ab jeans are used to control the ball worm of cotton cry 1 ab gene is used to control the corn borer of maize so now children your bt cotton is ready now do you know its advantages what are the advantages of bt cotton now this bt cotton has superior yield that means production is very high it gives more profit less need of pesticide is required it gives better quality of cotton and it has the suitability to grow early in india bt cotton was introduced in 2002 India has the largest hectareage of cotton and accounts for approximately one third of the co total cotton planted in the world. So, dear children, let's have some fun time in quiz and see how much you have been able to grasp. Now question 1 BT cotton is not option A a GM plant option B insect resistant option C a bacterial gene expressing system and option D resistant to pesticides your children put on your thinking caps and let's see if you get the right answer so the right answer is d option d next is question 2 a protoxin is option a a primitive toxin option b a denatured toxin option c toxin produced by protozoa and option d inactive toxin so tell me the right answer and the right answer is option d inactive toxin so protoxin means inactive toxin i told you earlier pro word means inactive Now let's move on to the next question. Question number three. Bt corn has been made resistant from corn borer by the introduction of gene. You have to tell the gene. Option A, cry one A B. Option B, cry two A B. Option C. cry 1 ac an option d trp so children tell me the correct answer any guesses so right answer is option a cry 1 ab now the next question 4 bt stands for so you have to tell the full form of bt option a bacillus thuringiensis option b bacillus cereus option c bacillus pumilus and option d bacillus megatherium so children what is the correct answer so the correct answer is option a bacillus thuringiensis now next now we look into the other sub topic that is pest resistant tobacco 
by RNAi. Do you know what is RNAi? RNAi means RNA interference. This is the strategy by which RNA is stopped or silenced to undergo translation. We should know the pest of tobacco. The pest is Meloidigyne incognitia. And the vector used is agrobacterium. This pest is a roundworm. Even on the screen, you can see it is a type of roundworm. In all the eukaryotes, RNAi occurs as a method of cellular defense. Now, the mechanism includes the following steps. First, there is isolation of nematode-specific gene, and then the agrobacterium is used as a vector to introduce it into the host plant, which is tobacco. The DNA undergoes transcription and forms sense and antisense RNAs, which are complementary to each other. In this way, they form the dsRNA, that is double-stranded RNA. The source of this complementary RNA could be from infection by viruses having RNA genome or mobile genetic elements transposons. When the nematode feeds on this transgenic tobacco, it forms its own mRNA. Now the dsRNA binds to mRNA. This binding prevents translation. The mRNA of nematode is silenced. It has been silenced or you can say it interferes with the expression of mRNA. So no protein synthesis and the nematode will die. So is it clear? Now on the screen, you can see the roots of tobacco plant. First one is the resistant plant root, which has been made genetically. And the other tobacco root is infested with the pest. Now, again, it's quiz time. Let's see how much you have been able to grasp. Question number one. In RNAi, the genes are silenced using option A, SSDNA, option B, DSDNA, option C, DSRNA, option D, SSRNA. So children, tell me the correct answer. And the option for correct answer is option C, DSRNA. So genes are silenced only because of DSRNA. That is double-stranded RNA. Now question two. Question two is method of cellular defense which works in eukaryotes is option A, PCR, option B, RNAi, option C, electrophoresis, option C, 
And the next option D, sudden blotting. So quickly children tell me the correct answer will be, the correct answer is RNAi. So RNAi is the cellular defense present in all the eukaryotes. So let's move on to the next question. Question three. Vector used for introducing the nematode specific gene is, so you have to tell the vector. Option A, E. coli. Option B, streptococcus. Option C, bacillus cereus. Option D, agrobacterium. So children, what is the correct answer? Option D. Agrobacterium is the vector. Now we'll move on to the next question, question number four. DSRNA on binding with mRNA of nematode prevents option A, replication, option B, duplication, option C, translation. An option D is transcription. So children, what is the correct answer? So correct answer is option C, translation. So you just now saw the mechanism. Translation is prevented because of silencing of mRNA. Now, we have arrived to the end of today's session. Now on your screen, you can see some practice questions, which you can do in your notebook as home task. I hope all of you understood and enjoyed today's session. I would like to conclude today's session with this beautiful quote. A little progress each day adds to big result. So keep trying your small little steps. It will help to achieve big results. Thank you.